Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Arya. Jacob and I will be your news anchors for today, Monday, January 29, 2023. Did you know that National... Wait, what is it? Did you know that today is National Puzzle Day? Here's Jacob with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wiley, South Carolina is 40 degrees. Today's high is 56 degrees. The low tonight is 31 degrees. The forecast for today is partly sunny. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the Palmetto State love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board with learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for the moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have spaghetti and meatballs or pizza bagels for lunch. Good morning, Crowder's Creek. Mr. Palmer back on the soar sofa with a couple of soaring eagles here. I have a fifth grade friend and a first grade friend that are soaring that we need to tell you about today. Uh, over here, my fifth grade friend, uh, Sienna Benier. Uh, Sienna was nominated by her classmates for the soar sofa, and they had to say that she's always listening and answering questions in class. She does her best on her work and treats everything like a major grade. When she's out, she makes sure that she does all her makeup work and did her best on it. She studies for tests and quizzes and helps other kids study too. And she pays attention in class and doesn't talk to her friends during the lesson. So those are some things that her classmates actually said about her, which is really cool that came from your peers in the classroom. So there's that for you. Here's your Dream Ring Cream Ring gift card and your Eagle Ring. And thank you for all your hard work this school year. On this side, my friend Emerson in Miss Ayalu's class, Emerson Yoakum. She is a valuable part of our classroom family. We voted on her as our soaring student of the month. She's always helping others and sharing her love for gymnastics. She smiles and makes sure our classroom family is always happy and learning. We are grateful she is with us. So how cool is that that your classmates voted for you to be on the source of? That's awesome. Here is your gifts and your eagle ring. Great job, Emerson. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you. Mr. Thomas, Ms. Hamilton, Ms. House, and Mr. Palmer would like to wish a happy birthday yesterday to Rylan Lewis, Lucas Lyons, Liam Balin, and Louisa Edwards. Happy birthday today to Abigail Davis and Brody Scott. Please see your librarian for your book machine token. That's all for the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCCE Morning News Show. Keep watching for Mr. Moses Meandering Monday. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. Today I am at Rankin Lake, which is located in Gastonia, North Carolina. So you can see it's a pretty decent sized lake. And I'm going to give you a little tour, give you a little history of the area. Hope you enjoy it. From Crowders Creek Elementary, Rankin Lake is 16.7 miles due north. Take about 30 minutes to get there from our school. Like most parks, Rankin Lake is a great way to spend a few hours. It offers activities for everyone, such as a playground for kids and multiple picnic areas to choose from, either out in the woods or right by the lake, including grills. But its main feature is the lake itself. Rankin Lake was built 102 years ago in 1922 on 242 acres. It was made as a reservoir to provide Gastonia's drinking water. It was Gastonia's second city park However, to protect the water source, 
the city decided to fence the lake off from the rest of the property in the 1980s. The lake was reopened to the public in 2012. While you can't swim in the lake, you can rent canoes, paddle boats, and kayaks to go on the water. There's also a one and a half mile paved trail around the lake. It's wide enough to run on, to take walks, or even to ride bikes. And as you can see here, they've even built a pier where you can do some fishing. Now I was here a little early in the morning, so you don't see very many fishermen yet. But let's take a look at what the lake looks like from the end of the pier. If you're lucky, you might see some wildlife such as ducks, fish, geese, deer. It also has its own live bamboo area. There's also a bridge on the far side of the lake that allows you to cross from one side to the other. Rankin Lake also boasts an 18-hole frisbee golf course. I hope you enjoyed today's visit to Rankin Lake. Be sure to come by sometime. Have a great day.